Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So last time we made our way through Bradstone Cove Seldora and took out the Dukes Dear Freya and got our hands on the old Peldrake Seal. And as I mentioned last time, we want to go get another one. Ideally, we'd get more than two. We're just going to get two for now. We can always get more later if I really want to. But I'll do those off screen. But yeah, basically you can trade one to straight or, you know, more than one. You can trade as many as you want. But you can trade them to strayed for the Crystal Soul Spear, which as you might imagine, Soul Spears are all good. Crystal Soul Spear is just better. Really powerful spell. So we want one for that. We also want one because you can also trade it to uh, Weaponsmith Ornifex, aka the Crow Demon, and she will make you the Moonlight Greatsword. As I mentioned, Moonlight Greatsword ain't an amazing weapon, but it's kind of fun, so we'll make it anyway just to test it. But yeah, we are pretty much there now. I was going to cut out the trip, but I rambled so damn much. We're basically there. But yeah, obviously this time the boss is going to have full HP, so... It's going to take a little bit longer to kill her, him, it... Maybe it's an it, maybe it's unisex. Ever think of that? No, you didn't. You're sexist, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's not... I, have, I don't even know the terminology for that. I can't begin to think of it. I don't really care. Either way, it's boss time. Again. Hey, baby! Did you miss me? Yeah, you did. Hey, we didn't get stamped this time. All being up by the little baby spiders makes me a very happy man. Let's try and wipe these out as quick as we can. I think there's only one left. That's right, bring that- Bro, shit! Bring that big, beautiful face over here. Will you jump back, you son of a bitch? The spider don't want to die. Yeah, like, look how much damage we're doing. And again, I can't- I think the difference between New Game and New Game Plus is almost double HP on the bosses. Some of them don't have quite double HP, but uh, most of them pretty much do. Like, if a boss has 5,000 in regular game, it's got like 10,000 New Game Plus. About, oh god, about by plus 7, you're looking at about 15,000, so about triple. So, again, the jump between New Game and New Game Plus is humongous compared to the other ones. So yeah, this, uh, this chick, or whatever it is, has quite a bit of HP. So consider we're tearing it up this quickly. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, damn. Okay, you know what? Just do a triple chuck. There we go. The rarely seen triple chuck. Necessary, in my opinion. Okay, please just die. I don't want you to kill me. No, don't be doing that. Do not be doing that. Let's wait for it to stop, and then we're going to beat the crap out of it. There we go. Die. Get ya. Okay, so there we go. There's our second old Peldrake soul. Like I say, ideally, you really want to get a bunch of them so you can get tons of Crystal Soul Spear, but maybe we'll come back and do that later. And yes, if you come back here with the Ashen Mist Heart, you can go into the memory of the dragon you see hanging up above us, and that will allow you to get the Ancient Dragon Soul. Here's one of Dark Souls's... Dark Souls 2, sorry. Here's one of the great mysteries of this game. Why is it that when you kill the Ancient Dragon, it drops a giant soul, but when you go to the memory of the dragon, that's where you get the Ancient Dragon soul? It's almost as if... I don't even bloody... I don't even know where to begin speculating on that. It's almost like the Ancient Dragon is a fake that was created by using the power of the giant souls. Something like that. So yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting to me. And hey! Maybe with the extra lore on the item descriptions now, we might find out something about that. So yeah, we'll remember to go back and grab the Ancient Dragon Soul and see if there's any new lore there. And I guess maybe the Giant Souls might have some new lore, but I kinda doubt it. I guess we'll see. Anyway, you notice I killed the spider and we did not kill the little dude Duke Seldor afterwards. That's because there seems to still be some debates about who is Tark's master. The master is the spider. It ain't Duke Seldora. So the reason we've come here before killing Duke Seldora and, you know, lighting the Primal Bonfire is because now we can get a dialogue confirming that he means the Duke's dear Freya. So, yeah. You've defeated my better half. This is my thanks. Take it. What skill. You've defeated my master. But our master never dies. And he changes form, so that he may seethe for all eternity. Seethe. Brave human, you have yet to face your greatest perils. Take these. May joy await you at the end of your travels. Thanks, Bonnie. I have no gods to pray to. 
But still, I pray that your journey will be safe. I have not, but... So there you go! You have defeated my master, but my master can never truly die, only changes forms. My master seethes for all eternity. Seethes! Seeth. That is not a coincidence. They, they chose that wording specifically. So there you go, that pretty much, you know, combined with the old Peldrake soul being in possession of the spider and the description on the Duke's Dear Freya's soul, pretty much confirms that he was created by Seath. And then, you know, in my mind, it's only a small logical leap to believe that he is therefore Tarkus, considering what he said about, you know, the past being a distant fog, not being able to remember much besides his name, Tark. Again, I feel like he's just forgotten the us parts. I feel like that's a humongous clue that so many people have overlooked. Because I, I've never heard anyone else come up with this theory, and it makes perfect freaking sense to me. I don't know, maybe someone did. Either way, I need to go back to the Primal Bonfire and light that puppy up. A wing my way, a wing my way, a wing my way, a wing my way. Do 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 we on my way. A wing my way, a wing my There he is! The Duke Seldora? Again, we don't necessarily know that this is Duke Seldora, but it seems pretty bloody likely. And he did. Good, good God, sir. And then he face discs. Good times. So yeah, like I say, I don't think you need the key, the friggin' branch is handy, the dark ring, eh. So yeah, you don't even need to kill him, but we're doing him a goddamn favor, you know? I was tempted to go back and use the key there, then my brain was like, no, don't do it, Jason. It's not worth the time. I know, brain, don't worry. It's gonna be okay. I am as lazy as you. Mostly because of you. Okay, now we have to kind of kill this guy. I guess we don't need to kill him, but we're going to. And yeah, speaking of this dude, oh, good God. Okay, you hit quite hard. I wonder if we can parry him. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? Just die. Thank you. Good Lord. Yeah, speaking of that guy, I believe in the next-gen version of Scholar of the First Sin, you know, the re-release. I believe they've actually changed his location. I ain't gonna spoil it for you, but I don't think he's here anymore. And there we go. Two down, two to go. Can't remember what you actually make from the other two old one souls. But, you know, we'll hold on to them and we'll go check it out when we're making some other the shit. The soul and the curse are one and the same. Your soul has grown stronger still. I only hope it brings you what you wish. Me too, baby. Me too. Okay, let's do some leveling up whilst we're here. Once again, we're just gonna pump up our faith. And we've got 20 now. 20 may seem low, and don't get me wrong, it is. But, surprisingly, most of the hexes have pretty low requirements in both intelligence and faith. Like, usually, you know, let's get rid of that for now. Like, usually you don't need too much of either. Like, for example, Dark Orb is like 12 and 10. That's kind of really low. I mean, we can't use the good ones yet. Is there any of these we want to use? Dark Weapon's good, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I still think Crystal Magic's going to be way better for us, because we're more of a mage than a balanced character. And basically, I think Dark's really good if you have a good balance of faith and intelligence. Until then, because we have way more intelligence, Crystal Magic's still going to be way better for us, I think. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong there. And yeah, let's test out this spell now, because we still haven't actually had a chance to do that yet. Can I try to think where we want to go next? I guess it's the Cardinal Tower that we need to go to, because we want to go to, uh... The Lost... We need to go to the Lost Bastille, because... We want to really get straight destonified as soon as we possibly can. And in order to get there, since we killed the Pashura and haven't been to No Man's Wharf yet, we need to go by way of the Eagle next to where you kill the Pashura. Not that we actually killed him there any time, but where you would normally kill the Pashura. Oh, by the way, this is one of those situations where Soul Great Sword, really handy. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> You can just wipe them out whilst they're standing either side of the door and they don't even know what's coming. And I hate those dudes because they have spears and shields. God, I hate them so much. Oh, and by the way, I believe... Ow! Screw you, buddy. I do believe there should be... Yes. Red Phantom just chilling over here. Get ya. Oh, nice try, buddy. Can we get... Yes, we can. <laughs> that was awesome. Can we kill them with a spin attack? No, we can't. Sure, buddy. Get the hell out of the way. Yeah. Show bash of justice. Oh, we didn't get the show bash thing. Damn it. Well, that was awesome nonetheless. Don't know if that red guy respawns. I want to say he does. 
I think it's only like the the red phantoms of the players. Wait, they don't respawn either. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow, my brain died for a second there. I think it's only the red phantoms that look like players that don't respawn. I think the ones that look like regular enemies but that are just red, I think they do. Like, as you saw with the red spider. There ain't too many red enemies around. I mean, I guess there's a few in the Forest of Fallen Giants, like there was red turtles and stuff, but yeah, there ain't a whole lot of them. Now, this area, you may recognize this. Look at the broken head. On the left, that's where we got the Bonfire Cynic. This is the area where you kill the Giant Lord. He's down the far end there. How damn cool is that? It took me so long before I realized this was the same area. I think I showed this off in the corrupted footage, so I wanted to show it again. I kind of really hate this cutscene. Like, the first couple of seconds of this next part where you see the water, it looks like N64 graphics water to me. Like, I don't know what the hell they did. Look at that! That looks terrible! Like, when it pans out, it don't look quite so bad, but like, the first second or two there... ...looks awful. Like, truly god-awful. Okay. We are in the Lost Bastille. Let's light up this damn thing. Now, since we didn't co up here last time, I don't think we did. Maybe we did, I don't remember. But either way, I'm gonna wait around here, because usually signs show up in this area... Right next to this bonfire fairly often, so again, I'll wait around for about five minutes. I'll cut it out. Hopefully, we'll get someone, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I've only been waiting around here for about a minute, maybe two, but I'm bored. I don't want to stand around no more, so screw it. We're just gonna carry on. Okay, so I'm trying to think if there are many extra enemies going on around here. Like, I remember one extra enemy. Like, it's not a red phantom, nothing like that. It's just like literally one of those, uh, the night dudes with the swords that do tons of damage. There's like one more of those that they place. There might be more that I haven't noticed, but yeah, I think that might be just about all that's changed around this area, which is a little bit sad, but what can you do? Oh, look who it is. Hello, look at deal. We're not gonna speak to you for 10 minutes because we already did that. As you might imagine, we're in New Game Plus now. We aren't gonna be worrying about the goddamn dialogue. Besides new dialogue, then yeah, we'll worry about that, but, uh... Yeah, as for stuff we did in New Game... Screw that shit. Okay, now, since we've arrived from the other side... Hopefully, we'll be able to sort out the barrel situation, because... You know, last time the dude kicked it down our face and broke it. Hopefully this time we'll actually be able to get it down in the right position and, you know... Fix the wall. But we'll see. Well, you know, break the wall, I guess, which is completely the opposite of fix the wall. And yes, that door down there, that's one I mentioned that you can open up, and if you walk out, you just die, because there's a pit of doom down there, but that ledge behind me, that's where you want to run and jump and drop down. And, well, I, apparently I was told you just run off. Don't jump, don't roll, don't nothing. Run off the edge, and you should land in the doorway. I don't know if that's true. That's what I was told. Okay. I like Soul Vortex. I wish we'd been using that earlier, but, you know, at least we have it now. Now, I have fire arrows, so we should be able to detonate this barrel if it goes in the wrong position. Oh, there's a, uh, a sun bro. Okay, and uh, of course the barrel went in there. Oh, shit, of course the barrel went... No! Leave me alone! Oh, it's not a sun bro, it's uh, a red sign. Well, you know, if we can get rid of the dogs, we'll summon him just so we can find him, but yeah. Right now, no... Oh, my God! What the hell? Really, that missed? That missed as well? What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? Oh, well, the red sign's gone now. Son of a bitch. Okay, barrel hasn't exploded yet. Don't know why. Again, not explode, but like it just crumbles. Maybe it will crumble when I move it? Come on, buddy. Oh, great, we've been evaded. <laughs> uh, that's not really ideal. It might blow up the wall, so I guess we'll try, because we ain't going to move it. Yes! Okay. Thank you. All right, let's light up this puppy. Again, we can light bonfires in Dark Souls 2. Unlike Dark Souls 1, when we're being invaded, you just can't sit down at them. But, you know, it's not really a huge deal, considering... We haven't really done much of anything. We've got amber herbs that we can use to get our, souls, uh, our spells back. So yeah, there should be no enemies around here as well, considering we just killed them all. So hopefully, we'll be able to find this guy and murder him. Where did he spawn, though, is the question. I get the feeling he may have spawned all the way down the end next to the bonfire where we just were. Not the bonfire behind us, the bonfire in front of us. I think. Uh, buddy? Where the hell are you? Hello? I don't see him. Did he go out here, maybe? I don't really want to be dicking around out here because there's a bunch of enemies. And that archer. 
Yeah, I don't see him. What the hell? Okay. I guess give me a minute here to try and find the dude? Oh, great. He left. That's strange. I guess he just couldn't find... I don't know what the hell happened with that. And what is it? That reminds me of Aliens. I guess it's because it's like... I must go now. My home planet needs me. That's like the sound of them beaming up to their home planets. I don't know. Makes me think of aliens, and that amuses me. Okay, well, this seems like a really good place to test out our new spell, Soul Vortex, considering there's gonna be. Oh, shit! Okay, a butt ton of these dudes. And yeah, gotta remember, apparently this costs very, very slowly. Yeah, sucker on that. You know what? I'm a fan of that. It wasn't quite ridiculously devastating, but again. It's pretty down good, and you, sir, are dead. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Almost got me. But you didn't. Okay, so, there are going to be some more of these dudes around here, you know, around the corners and stuff, but we don't need to deal with them. And yeah, this one down here, oh, by the way, that's a door I was mentioning that you want to open so you can drop down. This guy is the one guy that I know isn't here on New Game. He's just here on New Game Plus, and he's actually kind of a pain in the dick. Because if you're trying to run through this area, you want to just run past everybody, climb up the ladder quickly, and then, you know, get to the boss and not worry about the enemies. This dude screws you over because he can smack away at your ankles whilst you're climbing. Plus, he's one of the few that will actually follow you up the ladder and to the boss fog. So if you're standing around trying to summon people, he can make your life a bit of a pain in the dick. I mean, it's only one dude, you know, oh shit, ain't the end of the world, but yeah. Kind of clever enemy placements. I wish they'd put him there on regular game, but you know... Whatever. Speaking of enemy beam placement, the enemy placement in the, uh, the Scholar of the First Sin version looks really good. And yes, I, don't get me wrong, I fully agree, they should have just done that the first time around, but... Well, either never, you know? But yeah, I am very excited to play that version. Hey, buddy! How's it going? Okay, so we have Pilgrim Belclair. Doesn't look like we're actually gonna get a human for this, but me and Belclair should be able to test Moss. Because I think the Sindels are weak to magic. And, you know... Belclair alone, pretty dangerous, and now we can actually compete. So yeah, I don't think the Sentinels aren't... I don't think they're going to give us much trouble whatsoever, but we do have to bear in mind, they will hurt like hell if they hit us. So let's just try and make sure they don't hit us. If you give me a hand here, Belclair, that'd be real nice. Okay, once again, Belly the Never. Let's try Soul Spear. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. We're going to save the rest of them so we can shoot the other two whilst they're running along trying to avenge their buddy. But yeah, the AI on these are weird. Like, I I guess it's kind of like an honor system almost. Like, they let the first one fight us. And they're like, well, shit. He got beaten. So we're going to run in and gank. It's kind of not really a great honor system, but whatever. And good lord, we can just cheese the hell out of them. <laughs> yeah. Because Belclair dropped down. I don't think I've ever seen her do that without me doing that first. But I like that. Here I come to save the day. That's not bad. It, it would have probably been better had the dude not move. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's okay. Again, it's it's not blowing the doors off. A big chunk of that damage was Belclair with like a soul spear there. But again, it's still pretty damn good. Pretty damn. Apparently it's really good at staggering as well. Good lord. You could maybe just like perpetually stagger them with that. I like that. Okay, Bel... What the hell are you doing? Is there a loser of war here? I know there's a bunch in this room. Again, we're not going to worry about them. There's nothing major behind them. There is one I like to grab on the way up just because there's Crimson Water in there and we're a mage and Crimson Water restores your spell uses as well as your HP. But yeah, the rest of them can frankly just get the hell out of my sets. Okay, uh, the Soul of the Ruined Sentinel, a creation of the Jailer. Interesting. The Ruined Sentinel has no corporeal form. It is only an empty soul that haunts the armor. Pretty sure that's what it said. I don't know if it mentioned the whole Jailer thing. Who is the Jailer? Really? That missed you? What the hell? But yeah, anyway, I believe this is the one that has the Crimson Waters, I think. Yes, okay, so yeah, if you're a Major Arkham and you grab those. The Jailer. I was gonna say, maybe it's a Lost Sinner, but that doesn't make any damn sense. I don't know who the Jailer... I, I'm trying to think of, like, the Jailer as a character in the game. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, clearly the Jailer is, like, the one who was presiding over this place before? I don't, I don't even know. Anyway, I'm getting away to here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciated. I'll like, and I'll see you next time for more Dark Souls 2.